What are monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides? Have you ever wondered what makes up the carbohydrates in your favorite foods? Today, we are going to break down the different types of carbohydrates, monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides. Each type has its own unique structure and function, which is important in the world of organic chemistry and carbohydrate nomenclature. Let's start with monosaccharides. These are the simplest from of carbohydrates. They cannot be broken down into smaller carbohydrate units. Monosaccharides consist of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms for each carbon atom. Common examples include glucose, fructose, and galactose. These simple sugars are the building blocks for more complex carbohydrates. They are essential for energy production in our bodies. Next, we have disaccharides. Disaccharides are formed when two monosaccharide molecules bond together. This bonding occurs through a glycosidic bond, which is a type of covalent bond. During this process, a water molecule is removed, which is known as a dehydration reaction. Some common disaccharides include sucrose, which is table sugar made from glucose and fructose, lactose, the sugar found in milk made from glucose and galactose, and maltose, which is composed of two glucose molecules. Now, let's talk about polysaccharides. These are larger molecules made up of many monosaccharide units linked together by glycosidic bonds. And like monosaccharides and disaccharides, polysaccharides are generally not sweet and are often insoluble in water. They play important roles in energy storage and structural support in living organisms. Key examples of polysaccharides include starch and glycogen. Starch is used for energy storage in plants, while glycogen serves the same purpose in animals. Cellulose is another polysaccharide, and it is a structural component of plant cell walls. In the context of chemical nomenclature, understanding these categories helps in identifying and naming complex carbohydrates based on their composition and structure. This knowledge is essential for both research and practical applications in fields such as biochemistry and nutrition. By grasping the differences between monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides, you can better appreciate the role carbohydrates play in our diet and health. 